Okay, so let's try out another team with the 4-3-3 Luis Enrique imitation tactic. And I'm gonna try out Olympique de Marseille. In this video, we're going to set up the team real quick and then play three or four games with the team to see if it works. So this is gonna be like my primary uh, starting 11. And there's no like any big surprises here. The reason I'm starting Lirola and Nagatomo like as the uh, fullbacks is Lirola has the double touch. It's a little bit more like offensive than uh, Sakai. But of course, if I need to conserve my lead or something like that late in the game, I can put on Sakai and get a little bit more like defensive stability. And on the left, Nagatomo has a little bit more like player skills and stuff like that than Amavi. Amavi is like obviously better like overall, better ratings, perhaps a little bit more uh, like a dynamic player like offensively. But Nagatomo has a lot of good like defensive skills. He has like the man marking, interception, acrobatic clear, fighting spirit. And then Amavi is more like a, like an offensive type of player. Like he only has the interception. And my central defenders, Alvaro and Caleta Car. I also could pull Kamara down if I need it and start uh, Gay as the defensive anchor on the midfield. As my outer midfielders, I have Rongier and Cuisans. Cuisans, orchestrator. Rongier, box to box. And then my front three. Payet, Benedetto, and Tova. I played some training matches yesterday just to get a feel of the formation. And I started Milik. And I don't think a target man like Milik is the ideal option, like as the central striker in this formation, because uh, we are playing hug the touchline instead of false winger. So it felt like Milik was a little bit too alone, like up front, and he was pulling way too much back to receive the ball. So I think Benedetto will be a little bit more dangerous, like in the space in behind. Uh, in behind the defense. So Marseille are in B form and they award 457 and I'm going to need like six wins if I play the entire season with the team but let's start by playing at least three games to see how it works. So we start off against Juventus and he plays uh, pretty balanced 46 up the middle and then equally on the sides. And for my team, I have Mandanda on orange. I'm not going to risk anything against a team like Juventus. Doesn't matter if the player is rated 500. I'm going to start Pelé. And then we have Cuisance out. So I'm going to start Encham. And I'm not too like keen on having two box to box with Encham and Rongier, but I don't have an option here. So what's interesting is he had a pretty balanced like playing style, but the formation was really right heavy. I'm really curious to see how he actually plays. There seemed to be a little bit of a lag. Not much, but enough to be to be noticeable. Oh, so close with the Tova. Here we go, Benedetto, come on! Payet was moving like the wrong way, come on! It's small stuff like that that you learn about each, like each team as you play along, because you see Payet there, he, he moves like, instead of being really offensive and trying to get in behind, he comes back, because he's a kind of a playmaker type. Ooh. It's kind of a playmaker type, so he comes back. He often comes back instead of being aggressive, like going forwards. Perhaps I'm explaining it uh, poorly, but. No idea why I tried to lob with Benedetto there. I think I was trying a manual shot, but I pressed like the wrong, uh, the wrong left button. I can't believe it. I think the main reason 
Men den där Mrs. Stair is the pass from Tova is with his right foot instead of the left one. So it's a little bit inaccurate. But as I was saying, passing skills actually matter a lot. And Cham does not have like the And Sham was trying to do a through pass to Benedetto, but and Sham does not have any through passing skill. So the ball is a little bit off, even though he has lots of space. Again, the one with the right foot. Trying to find Benedetto. I mean, Milik would probably score that. Because he's a little bit better, like, on heading skills. I think. I'm gonna shoot with Dovan this time. Not mess around. There we go. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's try to keep the clean sheet here. Whoops. That was not... Uh-oh. Come on! Yeah. Hopefully. No, no, no! Oh my god! Some typical, like... 90th minute goalkeeping. You never see, like, deflections. Or goes like that, like during uh, like normal play before like the end of the halves. It's so insane. But enough about that. We pick up the win. We get off to a good start, even though I'm not playing like overly convincing. Struggling a little bit on the defense. And also, I'm not too happy with my uh, like midfield because Rongier is obviously really solid, box to box. He inspires. He can finish. He can pass. He also has the double touch. But the problem is you have Kui Sans and, and Cham as the other like side midfielder. It's not ideal. I would like a creative kind of player like I think Kui Sans is pretty creative. I'm not saying he's bad, but there's something about this midfield that feels a little bit worse than the other teams I've played with. And it might be Kamara as well, because I think actually Kamara has playing style build up. He's primarily like a central defender who can play defensive midfield. So he will not act like a typical anchor man. That might also like play a factor in everything. So what we could do actually, because we have Gay on the bench, or Gay Ye, or how to pronounce it, I'm not sure. So we have him on the bench, who is a defensive midfielder anchor man, and it's not too bad. Okay, so we face off against Juventus again. And this guy plays a little bit more up the middle, 64%. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna have a defensive issue here. Because we have Alvaro out, we have Caleta Car out, and we have Kui Sans out. So first of all, I'm gonna sub uh, Alvaro B with Balerdi. And then instead of Caleta Car, it seems like I can start Sakai actually. And then Kui Sans out, I'm gonna start Encham once again. So my team is not gonna be like perfect like at the back there. I think I'm gonna have a huge issue with my defense in this game. I'm gonna try to play like patiently. I'm gonna try to play a lot of combination plays to try to try to get uh, try to get them out of place. See if I can find some space in behind. Oh Oh man, they can do like these really aggressive like two-man presses without compromising their defense because they have five guys at the back who are really good, all of them. See Rongier here. Benedetto, Benedetto, yes! That what was I was trying to, to explain like in, uh, in the beginning of the game. I want to try to get them to commit out of position, so I get some extra space in behind. Again, and Cham 
with the, like I try to do like a through pass, perhaps not the best kind of pass, but you see and Cham does not have that kind of ability to play those balls. No, no. Oh, and Cham with the huge through pass. And then I actually think I would not have scored in that situation, so luckily I get the penalty. Let's see if we can capitalize here, just before the break. No! Come on! What is Payet doing? He's just standing there! Are you kidding me? He thought I here. <laughs> he gets like three defenders on him. He actually beats two of them, almost the third one as well. Are you kidding me? I do everything I can to block the shot and he actually gets the deflection in the far corner. That's insane. Yes! Rongier! He goes on full red right there off the kickoff, so I just have to avoid anything stupid. Like this, no one is paying attention to the ball. No! Oh my god! Oh, that was insane! I'm sure he's pulling his hair out <laughs> right now. Okay, so we get the draw. Could have gone either way, obviously, so a draw is, is fine. Okay, so let's play one more game for this video, and then perhaps I'll continue with Marseille in uh, like a second video. We've scored five goals in two games against Juventus, so I think the formation is working pretty well offensively. Defensively, I'm not too like convinced about uh, about this team, but perhaps I will try to experiment with some defensive like tweaks and defensive adjustments to see if that can help like the defensive uh, performance and now we're facing Shakhtar I actually have played a lot with Shakhtar Donetsk uh, they were in A form like a couple of weeks ago so I played like two or three seasons with them it's not my favorite team to play with but uh, it was okay so he plays really balanced almost as identical as me Okay, so for this one we have Kaleta cut out, so we're gonna do the experiment I mentioned like a little bit earlier. I'm gonna pull Kamara down, and I'm gonna start Gay because he's on green. And for this one we also have Kui Sans on green, so he's gonna start. And uh, it looks pretty good actually, we have a lot of players on green. So hopefully this will be a good game, like to finish off the video with a solid win, or uh, at least an entertaining game. I really like Gay already after four minutes he's so strong and big he can really be like a physical presence like in the midfield there let's see how we how he actually worked like in the formation this payet payet ah <laughs> so close There we go, Cuisants. Rongier. Come on! I have to score one goal, at least one goal, from range with Payet this season. How are we missing all these chances? We've had 
eight shots on goal. I'm pretty sure at least a couple of them should have been goals. I'm amazed that we're not up. Obviously, we've tried a lot of long shots with Payet. Finally, we hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm satisfied. I'm only gonna do short passing through the middle now. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna score some more, more goals with Payet. I mean, that should have been a goal. If you've ever seen like highlights on YouTube from uh, Thovan goals, like Thovan best goals, he scores so many bangers. He has such a good left foot. There we get the goal. Really nice goal. We switch play. He was way open there on the on the right Thawan. And we build it from there. There you see like the advantage of having a fullback. We can do the double touch. We get around. Nirola got around there really nicely. Uh oh. So much space. So do you have any comments for the game? Yeah. It was a really nice game. We pick up a solid win. Let's take a look at the table before we finish the video here. Okay, so we get off to a good start. And I actually think we're gonna need... We're still gonna need four more wins to promote. Perhaps three will be enough. Perhaps three and a draw. But at least one more win will secure another season in Division 7. So I'm gonna wrap up the video. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. And I will continue playing with Marseille. So consider subscribing for sticking around. I definitely think this team has a lot of potential. Offensively it's working pretty well with the wingers. I love these two wingers so you can do so much stuff with them. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.